for being given a thought given to the crucial east west connectivity and especially with the thane region and uh, the uh, the navi mumbai region and beyond the development over the next 5 to 6 years maybe by 2030 will require a lot more focus dedicated focus on railways coupled with all the other modes of development of transport that is happening of public transport that is happening in terms of metros uh, maybe even the waterways that might come up there's a new airport that is likely to get commissioned by 2019 in in navi mumbai in near panvel and all of those are going to have a, a massive effect on the travel patterns of of an average mumbaiker that we see today it's already undergone a massive change uh, the the distance has gone both one can see that there are a lot of people who are traveling over shorter distances but if you look at the average travel length the lead of the commuters then it has actually shown a massive increase over the past 20 25 odd years and so what this demands is that finally there has to be some thought given to uh, unification of the operations of the mumbai suburban uh, railway which is currently being served by western and central railway and it, it is a task that will ensure a lot of challenges <coughs> but luckily the uh, while we were doing the study and under the basic guidance uh, the and the overall guidance of mr vivek sahai and especially he was of the firm opinion having seen and served as a senior official in both western and central railway and going on to uh, head the indian railways as the chairman of the railway board he is of the firm opinion that if certain things are taken care of which are not impossible to be taken care of then the unification is is definitely possible like today the geographical area of western and central railway exceeds far beyond the boundaries of the mumbai suburban section and so for a general manager who is at the helm of affairs his attention is never specifically mumbai only when something goes wrong and there is a public public un cry the situation is almost threatening to go out of hand that the entire focus of the railway administration in both the zones come on mumbai but otherwise they are more interested in freight operations and of course it like anybody in his or her place would be bound by the other mandate the larger mandate that he has and not just a fraction of the section that is served by both uh, for the mumbai suburban section uh, so without wasting much time i'll uh, just invite mr sudhindra kulkarni to give us okay i'll uh, invite mr uh, uh, vivek sahai uh, who is now also we are very happy to announce that he is now a distinguished fellow with uh, with observer research foundation with a specific mandate to roll out uh, studies in the transport sector for mumbai and the rest of india and so mr sahai please thank you